Now, losing a family member is not a fun time. I can tell you from experience. However, however, the last thing I thought when I lost a family member was, now those ashes, they sound delicious. Can I have a spoonful of ashes, please? Please, may I have a spoonful of Granny Margaret sprinkled all over my spaghetti bolognese tonight? Instead of today, when I make my coffee, instead of putting a spoonful of sugar in, how, listen, hear me out. How about a spoonful of Gran Gran? I don't know what has possessed this lady to eat her the dead ashes of her husband, of her flipping husband. I'm sure she has a valid explanation why. My name is Casey, I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee, and I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. I mean, she's carrying it around, that's that's okay so far. That's okay, she carries, she carries it around. She just, she just misses him. That's fine, that's fine, but I'm sure by this title it's gonna get weirder. I take my husband everywhere, to the grocery store, shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that, that's neat. <laughs> to the movies, out to eat. Okay. She's not even started eating the ashes yet, and I'm, I'm already, I'm already a bit, I'm, I'm concerned. Come on, honey, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy this wonderful film. Oh, she's a lovely actress, isn't she? I like that actress. She's fantastic. Are you a little bit hungry? A little bit thirsty. Yeah. Let's, let's have a little, have a little service. Go on, have a. Go, go. Anywhere I go, he goes. I sleep with him. <laughs> Strapping him in. To, with a seatbelt, as if he's in true danger of death. He's, he's, he's already dead. I sleep with him. I'm like, baby, I love you. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. <laughs> he can't eat them, so what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> when I cook, I cook what he likes. I don't eat it, but I cook for him. Wait, 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 wait. So let's say he likes burgers or whatever the hell that was. She cooks it and doesn't do anything with it. I have this thing. I, I, I goddamn hate food waste. I goddamn hate it. Now, I get, I understand. I understand why she has this weird attachment to it, like her dead husband, she's only 26, blah, blah, all that and that and the other. But, but, at least eat the burger, man. If I'm watching TV, he's there with me. You wanna watch this? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I fucking hate this TV program. You got any Simpsons? If somebody says, hey, who is that? I'm like, that's just my husband. Some people laugh, they think I'm playing. But, it, I mean, it's serious, it's my husband. Casey and Sean were married in 2009 after dating for 10 months. Everything I had ever wanted in a man was right in front of me, and it felt so great. They fell in love and were soulmates from day one. The two and a half years that they were together, I think, was the only time that Casey was truly, truly happy. Their marriage was picture perfect until Sean suffered a severe asthma attack two months ago. The doctor came in, and the look on his face was telltale. It was the day, the day my world stopped turning. The day my life fell apart. Oh, baby, I miss you. I feel like that's the kind of moment as well that would have been caught on like, that, that's not like naturally been caught on camera. That's just like, show. We've got this with this shot, this this uh, this idea for a shot we want. If you mind just like cradling your your dead husband's ashes and just and just boiling your eyes out. Does that sound good? Fantastic. Right, we're rolling. Though Casey initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. And I didn't want to wipe wipe him off because that's my husband. I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers, and here I am today, almost two months later, and I can't stop. I mean, you can stop because there's only so much husband to go around. <laughs> there's only going to be so much. It's like a, it's like an end. It's like it's not, it's not an endless bag of ashes. It, it, it's going to eventually run out. There goes his feet. Well, there goes his left arm. Whoops a doodles. I've just let his entire torso. I'm eating my husband. Dude. First, I like my finger. 
And I don't just dip it in. It's called I swirl it around dude. to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. And then I just eat it. Oh my god! That, that, that. Oh. It tastes like rotten eggs, sand, and sandpaper. But I've grown to love that taste. It started as not wanting to get rid of him, and it's progressed into eating him. I've lost 42 pounds since my husband passed away. Basically, the only thing I'm eating are his ashes. What the fuck? That is just, dude, dude, that is not, that's, that's not right. That's not fucking right. But again, what is she gonna do? Uh, this, uh, what is she gonna do when, he, when she runs out? She can't just like, <laughs> there's only so much of him to go around. I mean, also the fact that she liked, it was like rotten eggs, sandpaper and something else, should be a cheap date. So what do you want me to cook you for dinner? We've got a lobster, I could do a lasagna. Nah, 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 just, just, just grab them, do you know the eggs that you threw in the bin about 17 days ago? Yeah, I love them, give them over it. Casey eats her husband's ashes five to six times a day. When I open up the urn, I get a sense of happiness. It's like an adrenaline rush for me. And the more I eat, the more excited I get until I realize there's not a lot left. There. Then a few minutes later, I feel horrible because I did it. When I got Sean back from the crematory, he weighed six pounds. He is closer to five pounds now, so I have Consumed right out of pound. <laughs> she has consumed Sean's entire left leg. That's hard. I'm eating my husband. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. She said it. I'm eating my husband. Translated to, I'm fucking crazy. She recently shared this secret with her mother. When Casey actually told me that she was eating Sean's ashes. It was like, I couldn't speak. I really couldn't do anything. I mean, it's like I was just frozen there. It makes me feel embarrassed, ashamed, disgusted with myself, confused, crazy. It's a big one that pops into my head. That's what I fucking said. Bodies are embalmed with eight different chemicals. Those chemicals can cause psychosis if ingested. So basically, she's literally gonna go crazy. Like, literally. Knowing that a pound is already gone is hard. And that's one reason I need help. Because I'm gonna run out soon. And I don't know if I'll be able to hold it together any better than I'm doing now. What am I gonna do when I go to bed at night and there's just an urn there? and there's nothing in it. But can Casey quit her addiction to eating her husband's ashes? Can her family stop her before it's too late? I just want her to stop eating the ashes. So what happens when somebody comes around, um, like a close friend, a close friend or, or maybe maybe the dead dude's best mate or something? So, so, so where is Sean? Where have you? Where have you placed his ashes? I know it was really important to you, it's important to me as well, but I know it's more important to you. Where, where have you placed him in the house? She wants to reveal the truth to her cousin Stephanie and ask for help. I'm feeling anxious a little bit, um, nervous. I don't want to lose the trust that we have. I'm ready to tell her and I'm ready to get it there out. Uh, I have something to tell you, Stephanie. Oh no. I don't want you to freak out, and I don't want you to get mad, and I really don't want you to push me away and not talk to me anymore. <laughs> don't even worry about this. There's a giant camera crew either side of us, but this is just, it's not, it's not it's nothing, nothing too important. You know, I carry around Sean everywhere. Um, I've been eating his ashes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that that's the face. That's the face, isn't it? That's the face I also pulled. Um, I've been eating his ashes. It is a kind, kind of a little too much, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> you think, you think, <laughs> you think. So like, when you're eating the ashes, like what's going through your mind at that moment? It comforts me and then I do it and then it, it makes me sad because I'm slowly losing my husband again. And I'm so scared that I'm pretty close to the edge right now. And if I eat him, like all of him, it may push you over. It may push me over. Right. 
but then again, where's my comfort going to be? The comfort is you can... Listen, you can keep carrying them around everywhere. That's fine. Just don't consume him. Just don't don't consume him. I don't want to be, oh, there's a little crazy lady that ate her husband. <laughs> so she thought the smart thing to do would be to have this recorded and now go out on all TV, like all over TV and all over the internet. <laughs> Congratulations, love. That conclusion has already been drawn. I cannot comprehend a couple of things. Why would you do that in the first place? Like, what? Well, just, just why? Why? Just, just put him on the mantelpiece. Put him in a place that's special. Don't eat the goddamn thing. Uh, and two, the taste. The taste. If you, uh, I, listen, I get why she think why she eats it, and she's like, oh, it brings me closer to him. Blah 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 blah. But in like, well, like she said there, in like three months, it's gonna be gone anyway. It's gonna be gone. And what's she gonna do then? She's fucked. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It's free, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.